In this second example, we're going to look at the effects of the step stabilization smoothing on a corner pencil finishing example. First of all, we're going to look at how the toolpath was generated. So if we go to the settings, we can see it's a corner pencil finishing toolpath. And importantly, we've specified a tool axis of lead and lean with a 30 degree lean angle, which basically means if we look from the side and attach the tool, the tool has been tilted over at 30 degrees from the vertical, so to avoid a collision between the holder and the actual steep sidewall. This also allows us to use a much shorter tool overhang to get a more rigid setup. As well as the tool axis definition being set to lead and lean, we've also used collision avoidance with a tilting method of lead and this is because if we attach the tool as it approaches this internal corner then the tool needs to lead back using the collision avoidance method to avoid gouging in that internal corner. This first tool path we've created uh, has no smoothing switched on. So let's have a look now at the azimuth and elevation rotary axis movement as we animate this toolpath. So to make it easy to see that we're going to bring up our coordinate system and simulate from the start again. We'll just slow down our simulation and then we'll play a simulation. So you can see the elevation is uh, pretty consistent at the 30 degrees. But the azimuth is swinging dramatically in this region along this rippled edge as the tool is forced to follow the surface normal. And we'll also notice here that there is a slight deviation in this internal corner with the elevation angle as the collision avoidance kicks in to prevent the collisions. So there we can see the change in the elevation and then back to the 30 degrees Okay, so now we're going to look at um, smoothing out both the azimuth and elevation using the stepped stabilization smoothing. First of all, we're going to concentrate on the elevation only. So on the next tool path, if we go to the settings and look at the tool axis definition this time, you'll see that on the smoothing tab, we've left the azimuth alone. We've got no smoothing on the azimuth, but on the elevation we've used this new step smoothing with links and because there was only a small deviation in the elevation in this region of approximately two degrees, we've made the maximum angular correction slightly above this two degrees just to make sure we completely cover the elevation change in this region and we've also set a smoothing distance of 20 millimeters. So now let's animate the toolpath again. This time we'll animate it with the machine tool active. Let's zoom in. Increase our animation speed this time and bring back our machine coordinates. And simulate from the start and play. So this time you'll notice that the elevation angle, which is the A-axis uh, on this machine, is now fixed at 30 degrees uh, and will stay at that 30 degree angle all the way around the profile. 
And even when we get into that internal corner where we have the collision avoidance, that has now been fixed at the 30 degrees. So for all intents and purposes, this is now turned into a four axis rotary style toolpath. But ideally, we want to lock both the azimuth and elevation. The azimuth has the, the more severe rotary axis movement, which we need to eliminate. So in the third toolpath, if we look at the settings, this time we've smoothed both the azimuth and the elevation using the stepped smoothing with links. This time we've increased the maximum angular correction to 50 degrees because the maximum deviation in angle across this rippled region was roughly 48 degrees, so it's slightly above that. And now this time if we simulate from the start, bring back our machine coordinates, you'll notice that both the A and the C axis are fixed. And because we've used the links option, when the stepped stabilization smoothing needs to change the axis, it comes off the surface with a link, updates to the new tool axis, and then and carries on machining. So here what we have for all intents and purposes is a combination of several 3 plus 2 axis segments with off surface links. The last toolpath we're going to look at is stepped stabilization smoothing again but this time with on surface links. So if we activate the toolpath, simulate from the start, and here you can see that compared to the previous toolpath, there are no leads and links, just one single entry and exit onto the toolpath. And if we simulate this one from the start and play, you can see that we have the fixed five axis portions of toolpath or the stabilized portions of toolpath and then we have the five axis transitions around the corners.